there are two groups of actors. You can divide people into two groups, those who have acted with Brando and those who haven't, I, I right. guess. And every one of them who has has a story about being nervous on the day he first arrived. Yeah. With me, with us, he was very, uh, he seemed to make a big effort to make everybody comfortable. Mm -hmm. I remember he was a little late. We had a rehearsal in a hotel room, and he came in, and uh, he was about 20 minutes late. And the actors, we were trying to be like, well, you know, the actor who's playing whatever his name, Mr. Sabatini, is coming in in 20 minutes. You know, we tried not to make any special fuss. Yeah. But as the time grew closer, you know, it was, I think somebody had a harmonica out, you know, and... <laughs> I was nervously fiddling with dials and a, the radio. I mean, I was, it was, we were more and more hysterical. And he came in, and he was, he's a big fella, you mm -hmm. know, and he had on a, a velour sweatsuit. And, uh, what color? I think it was like light blue with, uh, you know, yeah. middle European stripes on it, sort of, and uh, sunglasses. And uh, he looked like Marlon Brando. Yeah. And uh, did the hair on the back of your neck? Oh yeah, I was I was like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. and uh, you can do that. Big hug to everybody, yeah. you know, and immediately tried to put us at ease. He had mm -hmm. cowboy boots on, yeah. uh, but he was um, he imme he sat down and we started to rehearse and he was just uh, like one of the guys, extremely friendly. Yeah. Stay with it. When we left, left Matthew Broderick or left Matthew Broderick, uh, he was um, he and a group of other actors were all uh, had been nervous about the arrival of Mr. Uh, Mr. Brando, who has a way of throwing the fear of God into uh, his yep, colleagues. He does. And um, imagine the fun of having that power and being able to use it for good or ill. Yeah. Uh, I remember even the crew, like, you know, lighting the set, and when finally it was time for him to come out and enter the set, mm -hmm. there was like a, a hush. It's really like royalty is coming, mm -hmm. you know, everybody feels it. Did you find you could learn from working with him? Any meaningful sense of what I would draw that? Uh, no, I ho I mean that's I would love to learn from him. Uh, yeah. I found acting with him the, one of the most pleasurable uh, times I've had acting. Uh, yeah. He's so there's so there's so much coming, so many rays coming out mm -hmm. of him. You know, when you sit opposite him and have a scene with him, uh, that there's just you're you have plenty to do just to keep up with him and react to what he's doing. There's, there's just, you never yeah. have to... As they say, gives you a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a better way to put it. Uh, so it's just, you, you feel very taken care of, at least I did. And we had scenes that were seven pages long, two, two of them, which is unusual in films, too. But so we would do these eight-minute takes, and uh, they were just a total joy. Nervous as you are. Mm -hmm. to be working with Marlon Brando. Once you start, he gives so much that you forget how nervous you are. <laughs>